So this is the uh, the easy the easy U of a '93 Honda Accord. I saw a video. My car it start it, it cranks it turns but it does not start. I already checked the fuel pump. I checked the uh, the spark plugs and everything seems to be right in order. So I saw a video, somebody sent me a video, but that one was a 94 and this looks so different. It, it, this one has these two components right here. The one that I saw, the video that I saw, it only had one when it was toasted. So he put somebody else's computer in the car and it worked, it, it turned on. So he just had to buy, you know, the, the one that he needed. Uh, for that being said, because you cannot put just any any type of computer, anything that you just, you know, you gotta make sure that it's for the right car. On this one, you have to be really, really specific in that one. Um, Cause see, I purchased this one. I changed this one, the three EX, uh, because it had some transmission problems where the D4 was flashing. So I bought one of these, but the one that I had, it said 3LX and it was, the D4 was not coming on. So it was driving, it was drivable, but the D D4 was not coming on. So it kind of got me, con you know, concerned about it. So I find out that it needed the 3EX. So with this one, you have to make sure that you get the right computer for your car. Otherwise you're gonna mess up your engine. So I took this one off. I mean, I took this one out. It's underneath the panel down here. You gotta take you gotta take this piece of trim that's like this color, or you know, whichever color you the interior of your vehicle is. Here's a piece that I remove, and then there's four bolts in there, size 10 millimeters, and then you gotta take the the TCM. You gotta take that one off to be able to, to get to the ECU and be able to take it off. So on this one, like I said, I did not found anything wrong with it. It looks really, really sharp. I mean, um, I looked through very, very, very uh, specific through it, little by little, took my time, but I didn't see anything. So with that being said, I'm gonna put this back and uh, I guess I'm just gonna take it to a mechanic because I cannot, seriously, I cannot figure it out. And whatever the mechanic tells me and if he fix it, you know, I will make a video to direct it to you guys to make sure that you guys get the right information for it. All right, because I see, I notice that, man, you don't get a lot of videos for 93 Honda Accords. You just don't get videos about these cars. You get Civics, you get all the vehicles, but you don't get um, too many videos out there for the Honda Civic. I mean, the uh, Honda Accord um, LX. This one is the LX. No, the EX. This one is the EX. So, anyway, I'm going to put this uh, together and uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. Okay, I got it back together. Now I'm going to install it gotta flip it see this is the direction that these things go and this is the, the connectors connectors are completely different so you don't have to like you don't have to be like oh man I don't remember which one where is it go so they're all different uh, pretty much by the way that the harness is made you know it goes only one way kind of like this so <clears throat> you can try to put them first Connect it, plug them into the uh, ECU, and then put them in here, and then be able to put your TCM uh, in place as well. And then you would have to push this over, so that way you can connect these wires because they're kind of short right here. That's all you have to remove to take this off. If you ever come with problems with the TCM, the transmission control module, <coughs> this video will help you on how to take it off and how to put it back on 
the way that I take it off is basically, I mean, the way they put it back on is basically the same way that you will uh, take it off. Okay, so let's see if I can do the video. Um, so let me let me keep going in here. Let me see if I can put this up. All right, I was able to put it on a on my two actually on my toolbox. I was able to put my phone so I can show you guys step by step. So you put this guy right here. I don't know if the phone is moving or not, but. Here. Like I say, the connectors are pretty much, they're different, so there's no chance for you to miss and put them in the wrong spot. Alright, so that's how you put it all together, and then you come and flip this to put it on the bracket, middle bracket over here. Like I said, this one has three bolts. And they are size 10 they look like this right here size 10 because one on each end over here like that and another one goes in the front right over here okay so when you put this you get it all this set and then you move and put your TCM, you put it uh, in place. So like I said, it's a size 10, 10 mi millimeter, and there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. So this is a 93 Honda Accord, guys, EX. And this is the way to remove your TC, TCM or you ECU. All right, so now I'm gonna put this guy right here. Just like that, same thing. Three bolts, size 10. Same thing, two on two, one right here, the other one over here, and another one over here. Put it, put it on like that. Y vámonos recio. Just do hand tight on this, you don't have to really put it very tight. Just to hang tight on them, like so. Pow! Then you come back, and like I said, you get those connectors. You have to push this through, like this. Push it like this. Bring your connectors. Make sure that when you put them, you hear the click. Make sure they're all the way in. You just put them on this uh, bolt right there. There's another one. Right over here. So. There's a nut on this side, another nut right here, another nut right here, and so forth. So let me try to put this together. All right, I got those. I got that in place. Now you grab, you wanna put your 10 millimeter nut right here. And then with the long extension, you drive it in here. Slowly, and you just start tightening it. You want to be careful with that because you don't want to lose your nut in here, and then you start going at it and trying to fight it and 
yada yada yada. Then you cannot find it. Then you just getting tired of it and frustrated about it and all that good stuff. So make sure you're being careful. See what I just did? I just dropped it. <laughs> and that's because I got my phone. So I'm gonna get it out and put them on. Just gonna start it and then continue with the video. All right. Now I, I dig through, I <laughs> dig in there, got the nut out. So now you just kind of tie it on this one. You want to use your ratchet. So that way you can make sure that you tie it really good. And you put your carpet back and you're good to go. So let me grab that. You know, I'm watching some of those videos that they're out there. When guys are trying to do this with one hand, man, I'm telling you, it is something. It's a trick. <laughs> it's really a trick on this to do with one hand. So, but I, hey, doing this video, trying to help somebody out there. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you want to put a comment down below maybe you have gone through the same experience and you were able to fit it out what it was hey let us know you know let us know you're trying to do whatever you can sometimes to try to save some money on uh, whenever it comes to fixing a car you know I know mechanics sometimes you know you got a mechanic that wants to charge you seventy dollars an hour you know just to diagnose a car which is hey i'm i'm okay with that you know everybody has to make the living but i don't think it's good to make a killing you know um so i got this this guy i'm from the area i'm in texas in the area of granbury got this guy in cleveland he's an amazing guy <clears throat> I'm gonna put it right here so I can put let's see if I can show a little bit that way yeah right there so I can put this on um, I was saying there's a, in the area of Cleveland in Texas there's this guy that um, I like to use as a mechanic on I think the road is what's the road going to Morgan 171 I think it's 171 the road uh, he's on the car dealer but He's a mechanic. He's a great mechanic. I can tell you that. There you go. This thing you just gotta find the little snapping thingy. Snap it in place. And ready to go. Yeah, that's it. My floor mat got stuck in there. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, the way that I took it off is basically the way, I mean, the way that I put it on, I'm sorry, <clears throat> is the same way that you guys, you know, were taking it off. Just taking this piece off, this trim off, like I said, just snaps off. Move your carpet this way, four knots, size 10 millimeter uh, with, a, with the extension. You want to use maybe like a six inch extension on it. Um, then you disconnect the TC, the TCM connectors, you, you know, take them off. It's really easy to take them off. And then you'll be able to move the whole system like this. And then you continue moving on. All right. So like I said, this is a video for a 93 Honda Accord. You know, I'm going to show you a little bit of how it looks inside. Be like, oh man, yeah, that car looks just like mine. You know, sometimes you're looking for a video and... And like, oh man, my car is a, a 93 because somebody told me it was a 93, but it doesn't look like this guy's car. It looks so different. Well, guess what? Because somebody told you wrong. <laughs> so this is, you know, a 93 Honda Accord EX. It's kind of like the, um, you know, power locks, power windows and all that stuff. I had, my brother had a 91 Honda Civic, and I gotta tell you, man, I like that little car. I like also, you know, the uh, automatic 
uh, seat belts that they they move and stuff. Kind of like that person didn't like that. Um, he hated them. Tell you the truth, <laughs> he didn't like them at all because uh, he said that he felt like he was, you know, one time he he almost got choked on that thing. You know, <laughs> he was funny, but uh, it was just the way that he was going in on it. So. Um, when I called the mechanic, I called the mechanic, he told me to check something underneath there, a master sensor something, a master something, I couldn't understand him what he was telling me, but he said that underneath the dashboard there's sometimes something, a little box, it looks, you know, where I can tell it looks like a relay, um, but I was not able to locate it to tell you the truth, I just don't want to mess with this car. Um, I, there are some things that I can do, but there's some other things that I just, you know, let the professionals deal with that. You know, I mean, if you like your car, um, you, you got to take care of it, you know. it's This car is a 93, it's been very faithful. You know, my mom purchased it and then she ended up, you know, giving it to my son. Um, so we, uh, we paint the hood. It was all the clear coat was coming off. I saw a video of a guy that does it does this this kind of you know stuff. He fixed the cars himself. He's an old, the, the name of the channel is Old School. You know, he's a black guy from California. He's amazing. He's an awesome guy. You know, you guys should check him out. Uh, but you know, like I said, so we did. He had all the clear coat fading off. We got some extra paint on the hoods. So I said, you know what? Let's just paint it black. And I did that. I, painted the 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 Honda logo on it and uh, we forgot to put some of the uh, clear code to make it look more you know more shiny better looking so but uh but anyway that's what we did and so yeah now I'm looking forward to tint the windows um like I said it's working on it and uh, we replaced a couple stuff in this you know the bumper I think I did a video I don't know if I uploaded it I'm gonna double check if I did how to replace the front bumper on that. Um, we also have replaced the distributor on this car. I don't have a video for that. But uh, trying to make some videos on cars, like I said, it's, sometimes it's just hard to find, you know, videos. So I'm gonna try to make this one, just put a, you know, the, the title of the 93 Honda Accord. So anyway, like I said, looking forward to put some window tinting on this. Car is still good. I mean, hey, I cannot complain. We also, <laughs> we also spray paint the tail. And it was, yes, yeah, so you heard it right. We spray paint it. Of course, it doesn't look very professional. It doesn't look all, you know, awesome and everything. But, you know, hey, uh, did it just because. So, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Uh, hope this video helped you on uh, working on your car. And like I said, I'm gonna take this one to the mechanic and have him check it out and see what he tells me. And if he finds out what's wrong with it, um, and if he fix it, I'm gonna be able to make a video, kind of dress it out, <clears throat> what did he did with it, um, and go from there. All right, thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You, you know, for and hit the notification button for. Uh, other videos that we might end up uploading regarding to vehicles you know and things like that god bless you guys i hope you have an awesome day the rest of the day you're watching in the day and the night you know god bless you and stay tuned